Oh yeah, family, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford and we're here once again to give God all glory, all honor, and all praise. For this right here is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word. See what the word say. Good morning to y'all, each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for logging on. Sister Roslyn, Mother Tyson, I see you on here, Sister Lucy. Sister Odessa, good morning to you, sister. Uh, I see you on here. I see y'all. Come on, man. Come on in. If y'all don't mind, hit that share button. Let's get the message out to as many people as possible. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And we shall rejoice. Cousin, y'all see my little big cuz on here, man. Morning to you, Lexi. Instagram and YouTube, 954 518. Come on, y'all, let's get into these words. What the words say. Ain't no mistake who I'm speaking of. Praise God, way. Truly, my protection, my sword, my shield. Okay. Okay, 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 man. Y'all see it. It's in the word. Y'all see it. It is in the word. Good morning to y'all. Thank y'all for logging on and being a part of the morning motivational family. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. Like I stated, good morning to you, Sister Karen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As I stated, y'all are, man, listen, y'all more of a blessing to me than y'all even know. Y'all are more of a blessing to me than y'all even know, man. Because despite what popular minds may think, Everybody go through something. Everybody got trials and tribulations. Every guy, everybody got a cross that they have to bear. That they have to pick up and they have to bear. And so it's times, man, when I get on here, when I get on here, just based on my obligation to God and what he, what he instructed me to do, I get on here and I'm actually going through it myself. Yeah, don't forget now. I got a 19-year-old son, a 15-year-old son, and a seven and seven-year-old daughter, man. I got a wife that I've been married to for 20 years. Like I got situations that be going on within my own household. And then I log on, man, and I see y'all, man, and we on this thing together. And we talking about what we got going on together. And we going in God's word together. And we digging in. And man, I'm telling you, y'all are so much of an encouragement to me. So I just got to let y'all know that this morning. Shout out to you, Warren. I see you on here. I see you on here, Apostle Brown. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Sister V. Listen, y'all, Sister Ellie, uh, uh, Deacon Robo. Come on, man. Y'all, come on in. Hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible this morning, y'all. We're looking at First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse number 30, uh, 34. 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verse number 34. Y'all grab your word. Please grab your word. That's First Chronicles. That's in the Old Testament, chapter 16. This morning, we're going to look at one verse, verse 34. Amen. Amen. Sister Karen. Amen. The struggle is real. But so is God. Amen. What's up, Brother Corey? I see you on here. Brother Terrence, thank y'all for logging on. Y'all come on in real quick. Y'all know how we do. Big hug to everybody, man. Big hug. I love y'all. I really, really do love and appreciate y'all. Y'all grab, you grab your word. First Chronicles chapter 16. We're looking at verse number 34 this morning, y'all. Let us pray. Father God, as we humbly come before you in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus, Lord, we give you thanks, we give you honor, and we give you praise. We thank you for allowing us to gather together in this fashion on this morning, O oh God, and our prayer is that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you would allow your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and all revelation. God, we thank you, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The word reads, 1 Chronicle chapter 16, verse number 34. The word reads, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good and his mercy endureth forever. 
May God add a blessing to the hearer, the doer, and um, the hearer, the reader, and most importantly, the doer of his holy word. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all that that's all the scripture says. That particular scripture only says that. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to him, for he's good. Family, if you didn't know his mercy endureth forever, he loves us, he cares about us, he wraps his arms around us, he protects us. The Bible tells us, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, it protects me. Man, God loves us. He loves us so much. And it says he is good and his mercy and endures forever. Like there is no there is no end to that. It is infinite. His love and the way that he cares for us. Man, I'm telling you. And when we look at God's love and we compare it to the things that we're seeing here and what people so-called love. Man, we understand just how far short that we all fall. But I'm so encouraged today. Because the word says that when we fall short, even though we are in positions and we make decisions and we sometimes put ourselves in situations, God still hears our voice. Psalm 34 talks about a poor man crying. Boy, that's it, Mother Tyson. Infinite, infinite, infinite love. Infinite love's correct. Psalms 34 talks about a poor man crying out. And the Lord saving him out of all his troubles, all of them, not some of them, not the big ones, not the political ones, not the employment ones, not the family ones, not the community ones only. But it calls out and it says that the poor man cried out and God saved him. You know why? Because God is good. God is good and his mercy endureth forever. So today, fam, we need you to give thanks. Oh, give thanks. Make sure you're giving thanks. Make sure you're approaching this day with a thankful heart. Make sure you have thanksgiving on your, on your lips this morning and praise on your lips this morning. And thank God for his grace and his mercy. Thank God for the breath of life that we have in our lungs right now. Thank God that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank God that he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank God that he never sleeps and never slumbers. Thank God that he is, has all power in his unchanging hands. Thank God. Today, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Listen, family, don't take my word for it. Let's get into the word for yourself. That's Chronicles, First Chronicles, chapter 16. This morning, we're looking at verse number 34. Come on, fam, get into this word. First Chronicles, chapter 16. This morning, we are looking at verse number 34. When you read your word, fam, jump into the comment box and say, I read my word, all right? Y'all know how we do faith over fear, God over everything. Together, we have made love great again. Love has never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. I'm smiling so hard, man, because I just keep seeing more and more individuals jumping on this morning motivation this morning, man. And as I look at y'all faces, like the ones that I can see, like I know y'all, like we got a relationship. A lot of us who own here, man, this ain't no happenstance. Like God connected us together. And that's why I say together we have made love great again because love never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And that's what we're doing it. We're making it great again, man. I love y'all. God bless you. Always keep in mind, it's a wrap for the foolishness, man. Reflection. We're reflecting over our life. We're being accountable for our, for our actions. We're applying God's word. God's word, man. Oh, give thanks. We're applying that to our life. And we're getting prepared to make the best of our lives the best of our lives, man. I'm signing off. I love y'all. Thank y'all for logging on. I see you on here, P. I see you on here, Sister Felicia. God is great and he is worthy to be praised. Y'all come on in real quick. Y'all know how we ended. We ended on a great note with a big hug.
I love y'all. God bless you. We are signing off. Make sure you jump into the comment box and say you read your word. What's up, Mother Horton? Deacon Dom. Sister Natasha. Good morning to you. All honor. And we celebrate this breath of life that he gave us. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I love y'all. God bless you. If you don't mind, hit the share button. Let's get the message out to as many people as possible, all right? Catch y'all on the next go around.